Hello, hello, what's up? Welcome. Today I'm just working on some bugs. Working on some bugs. Making a lot of progress actually with these bugs. I played the game last night and really had a good time playing because man, there's when you fix all a lot of bugs, it's like you start to really notice how how little the game frustrate. You know, like bugs can be frustrating. They can stop your flow. They can really like take you out of a world. They kill the magic. So when you fix bugs, man, the the game just starts to become smoother and smoother and stuff like that. So that's kind of what's going on with Songbringer right now. I got 41 cards on my list right now. I'm working on some of these are um, easier than others, but I kind of ordered these in order of priority. So, um, but except for this first one, I'm just going to do this first one because I finally was able to duplicate this certain situation where I could walk over some grass, go to a different screen, come back, walk over the same grass, and it just keeps on giving you diamonds over and over and over and over and over, which is kind of cool. Maybe it should even stay in there, but at least I want to fix it just to know if maybe that's affecting like some other stuff somewhere else. So, let's start off with that. I need to hook up some kind of debugger, I'm sure, for this. This is granting the player items in a function called trample, I think. Yeah, trample and stop and then make sound, convert entity into sprite, create the item. So let's see if it's hitting that each time. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt I'm, you. I'm on a stream. I know. I oh. still need the same care of those oh. guys. Did you get a parking ticket? That's that's not Goldie's license plate, is it? They said we were in Cerritos, California at a community college. Were you driving a rental car or anything? This doesn't look familiar at all. Right. So where? It's got both our names on it though. Hmm. Can we handle this after the stream? I'm going to call him right now. I just wanted to say well, it. Well, doesn't... okay. Well, then let me turn the number. This is... Cerritos Community College. Where is that? Cerritos is Southern California. That's like LA. Southern California? Yeah. In Goldie? Yeah. No. This is not even go It says Goldie's color is gray. What? And it's not even the license plate on Goldie. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, what the? I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, I've turned it in the show. Can you call him now? <sighs> Alright, where were we? Where were we? Okay, we've got a breakpoint here in Move System Trample. Unable to connect to the chat. Something wrong with the chat today? Okay, we don't need this event to keep happening. That'll just slow down the process of fixing this bug. So for that to not happen, we need some bombs or cactuses or to have been to this dungeon already. Okay, so if we go down here, oh my god, is that why? Because we didn't have bombs before? What? Oh, okay, I was like, this is why I was able to catch this situation. You have to have no bombs, I guess, and no cactuses. I guess that makes sense, because trampled the bees. What? Oh my god. Found another bug right there. I guess that can trigger on the next area. Okay. Gotta go to log then. Why did it crash? Can't find zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's gotta be the same area. So. How did I exactly get that to trigger? I just held the down arrow. So we gotta go to the story element for cactus. This has to be no save, override, and same area. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, so that's got the same area now. Is the chat working? Is the friggin' video even recording? Walk right. Oh, so you gotta rock right away as fast as you can. Okay, I got this. I'm just gonna hold it down. Oh, it's working! Diamond Killer, what's up, man? How's it going? There. Okay, good. So we triggered that story element. And it's like still waiting to play it. And if I go back here... Oh, it plays it. Cool. Oh, damn. Same here, yeah. It's going well. Okay, so why did it crash this time? Wimbo, yeah? Oh, cool, man. How are, so how are you liking it? Okay, so for some reason when it came back and started playing this dialogue, it crashed, but it shouldn't have because zero was already there. So I need to see story system verbosity. Oh, it is? Oh my gosh, Steam Summer Sales tomorrow. Probably just gonna get my email inbox blown up. Like, this game's on sale, that game's on sale. I love I love Steam sales, I always get something. Right? I'm like, oh, I forgot, I've, I've had this in my, my wish list for a while. Is there anything you got your eye on? I see what happened. It already did mode zero. Okay, there's no need to crash then if it can't find an AI. <laughs> Your email's gonna explode. <laughs> uh. Ah, this thing I did earlier today. It's kind of messing with that thing now. Oh yeah, Ori in the Blind Forest? Cool. That's a good one. I, highly, I recommend that one. That's great. Okay, I think fixing it that way is just not going to be the right thing to do. What is the right thing to do is to take away that initial delay so that the player can't get 
out of the area before it triggers that dialog and puts mode zero into mode two so that it, it works just as it did there. See, I, I'm not able to get out. I guess I can try, hold on, if I could start in the other area. Whoa, it's build number 999998. Almost 100,000. Two more builds. Yeah, so that just triggers right away. There's really no way for the player to escape this dialogue. But if I escape from this, walk away, Zero won't be able to appear. But now he will because he's got this new thing, so he does appear. Cool. That's better. Oh, Doom, right? Yeah. I saw so many. Oh, so many builds, right, for that? Look at this, man. We're almost at 100,000. 100,000 times Songwriter's been built. Freaking, that's a lot, man. Damn. Okay, so I was trying to fix that one thing and I fixed the other thing instead. This time I wanna actually fix the thing I started out to fix. Come on, let's stay on topic here. Gotta stay on topic. Can't can't wander off topic. Can't wander too far. We'll get lost. We'll get lost in the depths of other bugs. The land of other bugs. Never get lost there. No, travelers. That is not a good place to get lost at. You'll never find your way home. Okay, I don't really care about that. I care about this. Why doesn't it do it? Why doesn't it do it sometimes? Maybe because of the doors already open. Shoot, this is such a crazy situation to just... I don't know how it happens. Okay, I was here and I just pressed down to go right away. Oh, it's maybe because of the, all right. Okay, we gotta undo the fix to story. Leave that as it was, because somehow this is the only way that it seems to work, where you can trample over this grass. Shoot. I. Ah. Uh. Oh, 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 I remember now. Okay, so I, I let the thing, wait, hold on. I'm trying to duplicate this bug. This is such a really hard one to reproduce, but okay, I think I can keep that fixed. I just have to skip this first dialogue, then go down. number thing maybe it just maybe one time it randomly worked and another time it just randomly doesn't dude this is tricky I don't know how that happened I might have to just let this go for now because this is just I'm not even catching it now Well, sometimes you just have to let go of a bug for now. See if I can catch it one. Oh man. This is weird. Oh, 
Oh, there. Okay, we're spawning an item finally. Maybe if the door is already open? Yeah, there's a couple things on my on my list right now. I can't remember what it exactly is on this on my list. I haven't looked at it in a minute. I've been so damn busy finishing this game and stuff. I can't I can't even recall a single game on my Steam wish list right now. I haven't thought about it in a minute. Okay, if I've been to the destination, which I think is um, secondary. 313, then the cave will already be open. Maybe that's how it gets triggered. Yeah, no, I play, I have, I play on this exact same computer. I just reboot into Windows. Yeah, I have to use Windows because Man, like, I love playing games on my Mac. It's like, I, I really love how smooth it is and everything, but um, most games don't support Mac. Either that, or they support it poorly, or, you know, like, the controller doesn't work, or, like, something else. You know, there's always some issue on Mac with games. So, yeah, I, I always play games on Windows. What about you? What kind of what kind of rig you got for playing games, huh? Really? No items here. Oh, there's one. Okay. If I go back here, I go there. No, doesn't keep popping up. I guess okay, I can give this like maybe one or two more tries, but that's, that's basically it. I can't keep. Oh wait, maybe it's that triggering. No. Ah oh, man. What's up, the Shadow Ox? Oh, sweet, man. Hello. What's up, biter kid? Welcome to the stream. You got a gaming desktop? Cool, man. Ooh, an i5. Overclocked. Oh, and a 1070. Dang. Yeah, I bet you can. Mount, what's up? What's up, guys? Today I'm just fixing some bugs and stuff. I can't seem to catch this bug, which was happening so consistently just five, five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, oh, you changed your name. Ah, cool. Biter Kid, I got you. Nice. Okay, well, shoot, I'm just gonna let go of this one. Life's awesome, man. Yeah, life is great. I'm really excited to be almost finished with Songbringer. Um, I had a great time at E3, and now just fixing lots and lots of bugs because we got a Master Candidate release coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you as Mount a while ago. I think you were a mount last time, right? But I still think of you as clock. <laughs> okay, well, okay, so yeah, I guess I just have to let go of this one. This is, um, it's not happening. I guess I could try one more time. Maybe it was at 60 frames a second. You got a problem with Songray? What's that? I guess I could try 60 frames a second. Maybe that was it. 
like I don't know how this is this is such a weird bug you can walk back over to the other room and keep getting these diamonds over and over oh, oh it's because you keep playing it oh man I'm sorry is it why is everybody changing their name oh you can you can do that now it used to cost money to change your name or something? Oh my god, is it the graphics performance? Oh, I have this graphics performance node set. Wait, there's a diamond. Hold on. No. Hold on. It might be graphics performance. Let's put it at 60 and then turn this back to zero. Oh, you never had it available? Oh, right. How you been though? How you been, Mount? What's new? There it is. Diamond. No, the diamond did not reappear. Oh, this bug sucks. I'm, I, I gotta move on. Gotta move on. Yeah, the, the game is really progressing so much. This is such a low priority bug, I can't spend any more time on it. Okay, I had it. I had it a minute ago. I was like, dude, there it is. It's, it's happening. I catched it. I've caught the Wallasaurus. The snark, or whatever it is. I've caught myself a snark. Nice, man. Okay, so which one should I do next? Okay, I guess I should check in that one tiny tweak to the story system. Or the story element there for triggering zero it shouldn't have that delay. Okay, so we fix being able to have dialogue for first cactus on next area. Oops, I gotta set up my set up my scripts and stuff. I can't be connected while I'm streaming. Oops. Some of them, yes. There is a certain monster that's meant to walk around the edge. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. If you could send me a screenshot, it would definitely help. Are you talking about it walking around the actual edge inside the screen, or are you talking about it goes off of the edge? I guess we could try this one. Kyoko gets stuck on the indestructible pillars at the top of the room. Let's see what we can do for that. Uh, oh, wait. Turn this back to normal. Hell, even this graphics performance, we can keep it one. Make it easy on the stream. Inside the screen by the corners, what do they look like? What kind of, what do they look like? Do they look like little elephants? Uh, 
All right, so we need to go to dungeon nine, which oh, I think we need to go to zero, maybe like 96 or 90, wait, 97 is seven, 98, yeah, it's 97. Okay, and it's gonna be zero, no, one, 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 97. There we go. And we don't need, we can't have jib, we could have vel. Yeah, yeah, they're meant to do that. That's their job. They're meant to hug the edges of anything they can walk around. So the screen is usually that. Okay, so we gotta get through this dialogue. Save again. Okay, this isn't gonna, I want debug level two here. Save again. Okay, so now we can fight him. Maybe I should have a, some kill bombs equipped actually. Yeah, let's get those kill bomb. Um, no cactuses. Oh, because I, I threw I, I let them all go. Okay, we're ready to try this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what happens is sometimes you can get stuck on the pillars in the top of the screen. Um, a super simple solution to this right now would be to remove the pillars. But I kind of like them aesthetically. So let's see what we can do to get him to not get stuck. Perhaps maybe just even moving these um, these bits right here. You know, depending on where he gets stuck, you can like make these these pillars or these little cubes right here. Move them down, down just one. And he wouldn't be able to get stuck there. Maybe Let's set a bomb and see what happens. Get rid of all that. Okay. Now, how are we gonna get him to get stuck? Like, he's definitely stuck. Like, stop, stop, bounce, 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 stop, stop, bounce, bounce. Stop, bounce, stop, bounce. Just like stuck on Bell, but if Bell moves. Oh, he's also still stuck, okay. Good. I think we can easily solve this by just moving the, uh, where the health is. Um, of course, I should probably take a look at his AI to see if I can get that fixed as well. So, like, what he's stopping and then bouncing and stopping and bouncing and stopping and bouncing. He shouldn't really do that. We shouldn't. He should. His AI should be a little smarter. So let's try that. Let's try not taking quite the easy road just at first. Maybe I can improve his AI slightly so he won't get in that situation again. Um, his name's Keel. Hmm. Okay, so he's going bounce basically. Stop. Stop is cool because that's great. You know, he's like trying to move in a certain direction and he stops. He's like, ah, I can't do this. So he stops. And then he goes into a different mode like where he's trying to bounce. Bounce. See? Bounce is not that smart. Bounce should be a little more random. So... We'll select from a set of sequences. If rand is less than 0 0.5, then we set the normal dirt target. If rand is also again less than a half, or maybe this would be thirds. Hello, what's up, Fleur? <laughs> How's it going? This should be Dur Smart. And then fall back to Dur Rand. So now he's got three different modes. If he bounces, he can do all that kind of stuff. And also, bounce should have a tiny delay at least. Or maybe delay is based on. Maybe delay is built into all these. Actually, we should try it like this first delay 0 0.2. At least 0 0.2. Maybe 0.3. Okay, let's try that again. 
Actually, let me get um, let me get the window size here kind of smaller. It's a hot day and my laptop is not very fast. So trying to film a video like doing a live stream and playing a 60 frame or you know a 30 frame rate full screen retina size game. Is it window size? There it is. All right, we want to go window size today. We'll play it 1080p. 16 by 9. First world problems, right? My computer's not fast enough to stream and play games. Right. Okay. Whoa, whoa, we need health. I gotta start with more of that. Okay, get stuck, man. Get stuck. There you go. There. Oh, sweet. He got out of it. Did you see that? He totally got out of it. He looked less stupid, too. There, see, now he's bouncing, but he's sometimes he's bouncing in different directions. He's not really waiting enough, though, between the bounces. Oh, but he got out of it again! Good job, man! You just found my channel, cool, man. You writing a game? What kind of game are you writing? Oh, sweet, yes, the entity system. This is such a very fundamental, important part of creating, creating games well. Tell me about it, man. Entity component systems. I'll never go back. I'll never go back to not having that. Okay, I'm gonna set a, a custom delay per each one of these so he just doesn't get stuck on that stuff anymore. And there's really no need to change the pattern, just change this AI, make it smarter. So first of all, their target delay can be a little bit lower. We'll go 15 to 2.5 or 0.25. The Dirt Smart, I feel like this one could go longer. This one could be like 0.3 to 0.6 maybe. No, nope, well, not maybe not that long. And this one could be 0.2 to 0.3 when it's just dirt ran. He's like, ah, sputtering and stuff. In fact, this one could be maybe randomly longer, 0.4. Okay, so now I'm gonna test that out again. Kill all the pillars, open up that little place where you can kind of get stuck or used to be able to get stuck. Took him a second to get out of there, but at least he figured it out. What is he doing? Oh, he's bouncing everywhere! Okay, maybe I did this wrong. Oh, this should have an if stuck at least. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Will I? There you are. Yes, that's already in there. Um, that's not debug mode. That bomb is not a debug mode feature. That is an actual item. Oh, sweet! You're making a top-down RPG. Cool. Nice, man. Yeah. I'm glad it helped. <laughs> I know he's bouncing all over everywhere. Okay, this should not be random then. This should actually be... If stuck. So yeah, this first one, Dirt Smart, should be if stuck like 50% or so, then do the Dirt Smart. Otherwise, do Dirt Target, and this should be a real tiny, and then. Hmm.
Want to kill Rock? Yes, it hurts Rock too. Yep. But by the time you have that, you have the shield item, which protects you from it. And if you don't have the shield item, then you just got to, like, not use that. Bombs work that way. Bombs hurt your hurt rock. They're, they're kind of meant to. They're meant to because, um, in general, you should, I feel like, at least in my, my design style or whatever, I've, I've, I cater to this belief, or I believe myself, that... Um, an item shouldn't all shouldn't just be usable. There there should be a downside to using items sometimes. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't just be able to use things forever and ever and ever and ever. You shouldn't just be able to do things all perfectly that like that don't hurt your player. So bombs have a trade off, right? You're you're setting down this very powerful weapon. It hurts enemies quite well. It does a lot of damage, and it does it really specifically like in in a big area. But the downside is you got to run your ass off to get away from your bomb. You know what I mean? And then you get this, the killer bombs and the killer bombs are so big and so powerful that like you just got to, you got to like either have a shield or blink right when you set off your bomb or do something like that. There's got to be a downside to using powerful stuff because otherwise you just freaking spam the powerful item button, you know? Bomberman minigame. But to allay any worries you might have, it doesn't do that much damage. So Rock doesn't take that much damage from his bombs, especially not as much as it does to the enemies. Let's try it without this Duran. Right? He's just got Dur Smart if he's stuck, or Dur Target if he's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now running around the screen, he shouldn't look like an idiot. He shouldn't just like get all lost and stuff. There, he's following his path. He's bouncing a little bit still. Ah. Oh, killed me. Okay, I need more health. Right, everybody starts as a new. I like, sh I loved sharing information about Songbringer with people because. There is a lot of information to know about Songbringer. There are so many little secrets and tricks and tips and items do this and that. There's a lot to know about Songbringer. It really rewards you for finding that out. You know, exploring and finding all these things. It's like so rewarding. Um, like, whoa, that item does that? Or, whoa, I can craft items? Or, whoa, that, that, there's a, there's a hidden boss? There, you're telling me there's a hidden boss? Yes, there is. There's a hidden boss. HP, we need way more of that to fight this guy. <laughs> uh, it's the codex. What's that co that what's that actual codex called? That's the demon codex or whatever, that like or Satan's Bible or whatever. Okay, get, try and get stuck, man. Get stuck there. Okay. Okay, I don't think I've ruined him. I think I've only fixed him. He does, do, he does kind of like randomly bounce around a little bit now. But, for the most part, if that only happens if he's far away. If he's close enough to you doesn't bounce. Let's see, is he getting stuck? He's not getting stuck there at all anymore. If he gets in that corner, he just bounces. And the bounce actually works because it's got two different modes. It can do a bounce smart or a bounce towards the target, basically. I think it's working. Okay, I should fight him just to make sure. I want to fight him for real. Yeah, the Codex Gigas, that one, yeah. <laughs> Just meditate, right. Sell the tips and tricks DLC. All right, Thongbringer, yeah. That's been, um, it's been an idea, huh? 
kicking around thong bringer for quite a while since like stream number shoot stream number 80 or something there's also bong bringer which i'm really excited about okay what happened to the 1080p version oh you gotta turn off that one and turn on that and turn off that there Okay, I'm gonna fight him for real this time. Should we do the story element too? Yeah, just make sure this story element happens too. Keel. There, get rid of that. Start it over. Without the story system, verbosity. No more story ver. Whoops. Without the render system verbosity. Oh, what happened? Uh, I tried to execute make and make run inside the web browser and it, it totally didn't work. And somehow it killed the chat dialogue completely. I can't even go back to it. Sorry guys, I think I missed a couple of your messages there. I got this shortcut that runs my game, but sometimes I accidentally am inside Chrome when I when the the shortcut runs, and so it does this random stuff like that. Very surprising. I love it actually. I love surprises. Pongbringer, bring Pong back to the mainstream. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, right? Why can't we compile the internet? Song Ringer. Oh, what would that be? Sounds like a Doctor Who episode. Kind of. Uh, Drop one of these. Can you guys get? You guys have audio? You should have audio. My audio is off. Ah. He's giving in to the fear! Can't meditate during this fight. You have audio? Good to hear. Ah, I don't have any cactuses! I have a flask. I need a flask. Oh man, I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> I cheated! I totally cheated! Yes! See, I almost had him. The what? Oh, oh, Song Ringer is? Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's right, I remember that now, I remember that. Yeah, I was like, whoops. Let's just fix that right now, huh? If we turn off the sound in Songbringer, do we create a bit? Yep, because it's no longer bringing any songs. It's pretty, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it. There could be some crazy stuff happen. <laughs> oh, okay, so it worked. It's fine. Cool. He doesn't get stuck anymore. He's smarter. Yay. Let's check that in. It's a good fix. Simple, old data only fix. There. It's just a smarter bounce, basically. If he's stuck a little bit, he does a smart direction, which means go away from walls. And he sets a good medium-sized delay. And then if he's not stuck, he just goes straight towards the target. And also sets a tiny bit of a delay so it doesn't keep bouncing over and over and over. And looking like an idiot. So, there we go. Keel, a little bit fixed. And he still plays fine. <laughs> an achievement for playing without sound? That's a funny one. That should be in there. If you turn off songs, you get thongs. Thongs has come flying out of the screen. 
Is it, is it actually an achievement? It's it's not actually an achievement right now, but is it could it actually be an achievement soon? I don't know. Inquiring minds want to. Cool, it's done. This one's done. I'm gonna have to go back and replay my commits. When I commit to devil eleven. Okay. Next. That was good. Good fix, man. Good fix, Nat. Good job. What's what what's another hard this are both hard ones. I'm glad I'm doing the hard ones first. This is this one is ostensibly the hardest one. But actually it might turn out to be an easy one. So let me just get rid of all that expectation and dive into this water without testing how cold it is. All right, so going into the Songbringer, Songbringer dungeon itself can have, can sometimes not have a tunnel into the boss key level. That can break and what? I don't have that actual, oh, because it was, it was so long ago that I did this. So this, this, case, this one's gonna take a little bit of research. That's really what this one's gonna be about. Like. I need to see if I can find a world that actually does this where there is no tunnel into the boss key level. I guess the probably the best way to do that would be to write a tiny bit of code which detects that situation and then run it for a lot of worlds. See how fast we can do that. And then I guess if having that written too would, would be the first step to solving this because then it can throw away that dungeon and generate a new one. And there might this might already be totally solved. Like this might not even be an issue at all. But let's check it out. First of all, first thing, let's go to this the Songbringer dungeon for this world right here. All right, here's what it's, the shape is. Um, Oh, it would be so good if I could see what key levels look like. It's like almost impossible to tell whether they're the the key levels are broken because you can't really. I can I can see that yes, this X right here, this big X, is um the exit of a tunnel, and the little X has got to be this one right here. Is the beginning of a tunnel so this tunnel goes whoop over to there and then to that right so it looks like that tunnel is is working but I wonder if I actually already wrote this code let's go into dungeon all right we've got to place is it place tunnels num tunnels Key level for the first tunnel. Tunnel key levels. Filling. Num tunnels. And this is a tunnel key level. Yeah, here's where I was trying to fix this situation before. Tunnels require secrets to be the first room so the key level doesn't get split in half by a secret being there. That's right. So did I... I can't remember if I reduced the number of secrets that go into the Songbringer dungeon because that would really lift the requirement on these dungeons and help that whole situation out a lot. I think I may have actually done that already let me take a look at world dot text all right for songbringer the number of secrets is still six okay it's still really high yeah so this technically should be possible see there's only three tunnel levels which means there should be like three key levels for those tunnels and then six secrets. There's like so many secrets that 
it can place secrets within some of the tunnels. Um, and that basically can lead to the problem where a tunnel can get split in half. And then basically you can tunnel into an area which you can't really get to the end of that tunnel area. So, and it only happens in a rare situation. So going back to my original thought, I think the way to do this is just to write a bit of code which can detect this. Okay, so when we're placing tunnels, that's right here, this is just testing this, tunnel, is tunnel. If is tunnel and we're creating a door locked, it creates a bombable, that's right. Oh, there is a place tunnel, there we go. Yeah, place tunnel. Oh, going back to the start of this, this, this runs in reverse, so it starts with the last tunnel, which it should, and then it goes backwards, but the last tunnel right, that might have already been split by a, a, a secret. So when we place the tunnel, Ah, this is this is not actually in that much of an issue because there's always a a wall that can be bombed through. How the heck would I even detect this situation? Like we'd have to Like, I could write a dungeon crawler algorithm that would have to go back and, like, there's got to be a simpler way than writing an entire, like, crawler algorithm to detect this one tiny little thing that's not even really that much of an issue because there's still a way through with secret walls. That's really the only thing, that's, that's really the only problem here is that there's no obvious way to solve every Songbringer dungeon, but there... But there is always a secret way to solve every dungeon. Oh, I guess I can, now that I'm kind of like a little warmed up on this issue, I can look at this map again and see if there's anything on here. Like here, this is looking okay. Is there anything wrong with, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so you can see this whole, this area, this, this, and this, these, this nine area square right here has a secret in it right there. So there's one secret in that key level. That is a secret wall. But other than that, that's, so that's the way into that key level, the secret way. But see, it does have a tunnel reaching up into it. Okay, so that's what it would be the problem, is if the tunnel entrance, say if the tunnel, if these were swapped right here, if this secret was swapped with that so that the tunnel entrance was right here, and you would tunnel into this certain area right here, and you'd be trapped because there would be a secret wall right here. So there'd be no obvious way to get through this, but... If you used a bomb, or you meditated, or you used a cactus, you would be able to get through this. So, the question is, am I willing to let players half, literally have to use meditate, or cactus, or bombs, or kill bombs? Not going to be kill bombs. It's not going to be kill bombs in this dungeon, except for the super secret area which is one, gonna be one of these, which I guess might be that area. Okay, so it could be any sort of item. Okay, if it's a kill bomb, then it's not gonna work.
Okay, I got it. I know how to simply determine this if this is a problem. Um, basically, I'll need to write a I'll need to write a walker that starts at the boss room, or the, maybe just the before boss room. Yeah, before boss room is fine. Okay, so it starts at the before boss room and then walks through the dungeon until it gets to the tunnel. And if the tunnel is blocked by a hidden door, then it could throw away this dungeon. So basically they would, in this particular case right here, the walker would just go, it would start here, it would go, oh, it would go there, and it would go, oh, look there, there's the tunnel. So that's fine. It can get from the before boss room to a tunnel without using a secret wall. Okay, I've got all these algorithms in there. This is definitely the hardest one on my list. Um, so if I could get this finished, and it's one of the highest priority too. But uh, I don't know if it should be so high priority because maybe it just seems high priority because it's like there still is a way to solve this. As a player, you're not actually stopped. Zyger! What up, man? How's it going? So there's some Pathfinder algorithms in Dungeon. Is there not? What? What? There's got to be. There, Pathfind through the doors. Path, here we go. We're using this get path. So dungeon.h has a pathfinder. I'm trying to get into the pathfinding algorithms here for the dungeon because I'm, there it is, pathfind cost. Pathfind is open. Thanks, man, appreciate it. It's been quite a joy, quite a joy. Usually, usually like times when you're finishing a game are kind of stressful and and, and horrible and crunchy and all that, but I found a source of enlightenment, my friend. I've found it. I've learned to not make my happiness conditional upon how many bugs I get done in a day because the bugs just keep piling up, my friend. There's nothing you can do but just keep, keep doing the bugs and doing the highest priority ones you can, but there is something you can do. You can enlighten yourself. This is what I've done, man. It's, I'm, I'm enlightened. I don't worry about how how many bugs are on my list anymore. I just get them done, man. It's helping me to be actually a lot more productive. Twitch chat. It's the Twitch. You're right. You're right. I'll admit my secret is the Twitch chat. You guys, you guys are my secret. Yeah, meditation, right? It led me to this. Thank you, meditation. Okay, is tunnel destination? I guess we would need to pathfind with a different algorithm or something. <laughs> yeah, right? Right? If you just use meditation, this is not an issue. Should I even should I even do this bug anymore? This is a this is definitely not an easy one, but well, let's, let's let me stop psyching myself out about it, huh? Is it maybe just a little easier? See, the Pathfinder allows you to walk a secret closed path if this is a tunnel destination. It would be more accurate yet more complicated to Pathfind through the tunnels, right? But Okay, I got it, I got it. Basically, the first thing I need to do is find, start, okay, we got the, easily have this destination, or the, 
the starting point of this path line. All we got to do is find the key level for that, search through the whole key level looking for the, the tunnel destination, and then path rhyme from there to the tunnel destination and see if that path just crosses a freaking hidden door. Easy. Okay. I got this. I can write this algorithm. Okay, so going back to, yeah, pathfinding through the doors. We're gonna need another function of dungeon called, maybe check tunnel. Check last tunnel, whatever. We'll call it something for now. It's a function of dungeon. It's not a static. So bool, let me get a bool. Check last tunnel. Okay, dungeon, check last tunnel. For now, it just starts by returning true in all cases. And going back to the generator algorithm, the very beginning of it, after it places its tunnels, where the hell is this? I should have just searched. There we go, tunnels. Add a few doors, add some corridors, add some gates, pathfind through the doors. After everything is said and done, place the keys, add the gates, place the puzzles, place the items, place everything else at the very, very end. Check that last tunnel. I guess this only, I guess this really only applies to the Songbringer dungeon though. Because the song where your dungeon is the only one. Okay, so we've got this in place, the check last tunnel function. Nice, what kind of programmer? Okay, so running this, nothing should be broken yet. <laughs> nothing should be broken yet. Good, we're still able to create this world. Let's go to um, aboard the dungeon anyway, just be there. Okay, now we need to cert we need to know if this is the ship. I think that yeah, type is dungeon ship. Alright, if this is the ship. And of course if we have enough, you know, more than one tunnel. We need to look at the last pathfind from before boss to tunnel destination. C++? Yeah, Dominic Killer's got a team, man. It's not broken until you run the code. There you go. Okay, so we know where the destination is. The destination is... If 
find room. Oh, that's the source actually. Source is that. I haven't tried those blueprint things, huh? No viable conversion from const oh, const dungeon room. Find room, but flag before boss dot pause. That's our destination room. That's the source. So the destination, I think, is K flag downstairs or K flag one, K flag two, three. What flag am I even? Maybe just let's go K flag. Well, how many tunnels are there? There's X Y Z. X Y Z. So that would be if this was. Uh, let's look at the log function. I'm trying to know what flag number to use for this. For the last. Tunnel destination. I guess I should be looking for X. Oh, there it is. Yeah, downstairs. And N mod two is zero. And N is the get flag number. And it starts at W, so W would be zero and one, X would be two and three, Y would be four and five, and Z would be six and seven. So I think we're looking for flag number seven in this particular case. which is actually K flag one times two times num tunnels. So if we have four tunnels, we're looking for the eighth flag, I guess. Okay, let's see how this is going. Is that even even anywhere near right? Why did I choose Cocos? Because I'm already familiar with uh, Cocos, and because it's C plus plus. But the familiarity is a big thing. I already knew how to do everything in Cocos 2DX, so I just stick with it. Stuck with it and didn't have to worry about it at all. And it's open source. I like to have the code for something because um, I prefer to compile everything myself. I prefer to have the power to change the game, the game engine I'm using if I need to. Cool, so we're going from 6, 4, 10 to 2, 1, 10. That's wrong. 2, 1, 10 is... What is 2, 1, 10? 2 would be 1, 2, 1. So it's X. We found X. That's totally wrong. X should be the first... 
Oh. Did find room, maybe find room doesn't find all the flags. Uh. Oh, it doesn't. This should be has all bits or else. Okay, so can I can I fix that? If I change if I change this, will I hurt everything else in the entire game? Get dungeon, find room, flag goal, flag entrance, flag before boss. There's one that's totally wrong. That's not working. Oh, it works because it's looking for flag one. Oh my god, I might be fixing bugs by fixing this right here. What is this? Get path to Verloc, create Dungeon Z. This is at the beginning of create Dungeon Z. It gets, why is it getting the path to the Verloc and then... Oh, because it gets Verloc path. Okay, so and then Verloc path. I think what Verloc path does is it doesn't lock it. Oh, okay, so the Fire Dungeon doesn't have any tunnels. Oh, this is so tricky. Delicate. Fire one, do you have tunnels? No. That's why this is working. Okay, so that's why that was fine before. It didn't need any love there. Is there anywhere else that might be broken if I change this? Anything that goes wrong becomes a feature. Oh, I wish it was that easy. I know, right? Yep. How many times has that happened? So what would, uh, I guess there's a lot of it, really important stuff that uses this, but all of these are using one flag, right? We're looking for that one flag. That That's the one particular one where it doesn't, but that's because I just wrote it. Okay, but that one's only find room with one flag. That's only one flag. The next one is only one flag. That's only one flag. That's two flags, but it's working because that dungeon does never have any other downstairs. That's one flag. So yeah, this is safe to change this to... So find room, it needs to have, has all bits, right? If you're going to give it more than one flag in this, it needs to find them all, not just the one. Okay, so now that should work. I run it again. Whoops, not from here. This is probably the most technical bug I've had to fix in the last few months. It's good to get these really important ones like this done because, and get them in the past because then you start testing the game. You're like, oh look, the game still works. I didn't break everything. It's a good feeling when you know you didn't break everything. <laughs> did I just break everything though? Why did it crash or something? No? What happened? Glad you could help. I'm glad you could help too. All right, now, did it find it right? No, it didn't find anything that time. It's like, I can't find that flag. What are you looking for? What number of tunnels? Three tunnels, right? So that's why. Well, K flag. Okay, so if we're looking for K flag one, um, K flag one, two. Uh, please take some time to compile the internet. 
this is straight a for loop. I'm just gonna loop through and find all these for the now. Okay. Oh my god! Oh! This is a really obvious bug to me all of a sudden. This is K flag 1 shifted up. Two times the number of tunnels. Okay, let's try that again. What? Why aren't you? Uh, right to it. There. Two guys. So if we had zero tunnels, that would be flag number one. If we had two, f yeah, one would be a zero, one and two, yeah. Did it work? 4-4, four, four, yes! Yes! It found the right one! 4-4-10! Four, four, oh! Nice! 4-4-10 four, four, was it, I'm pretty sure. Tits! So I need to, um... Let that run again. Hooray! This is the most important part there, was just finding those two rooms. Now I gotta path find and then walk the path, make sure there's no secret doors. Right, okay, yeah, so it was six, six, or six, wait, no. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, six, four, ten to four, four, ten. Perfect. All right, good. Now, just pathfind. So uh, I guess we should have made these locations. Did I write an operator for that? Yeah, I did. Cool. So it automatically converts locate V3Is to locations. Okay, so we got location source, location desk, and then we can go path. Path, path. And then... Get path. path from source to dest into path oops what's d path oh into path and then exclude path i think you can just ignore the exclude path How can you code without background music? I don't know. I think I'm, my brain actually works better without background music. Somehow, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not the case. Sometimes it's much better to have some background music. Um, but I don't know. For me, for the most part, I like without actually without music. But the other thing is, I can't have music on my stream because YouTube videos. Uh, get flagged as copyright issues and stuff like that so people wouldn't be able to watch these videos if I had music on them Pathfinder what is your why do you why do I have to give you an exclude path do I from to 
See, I can just do paths. I don't have to do exclude path. All right. So we can ignore that and do this path thing here. And if the path is empty, or even if the path size is less than or equal to one, then return false. No path from before boss to tunnel dest. Oh yeah, you do? Cool, I'm not just the only one. For you, it's, the, it's part of the coding, huh? What about yourself? What kind of programming do you do? And the last thing we do is walk the path, checking there are no secret doors for auto ref P in path. What is the path made up of again? I forgot. Path is a vector of locations. That's right. All right, now we need to go, we got each point in this path. We need to look at the next point in the path. Okay, so we need to do, we need to walk the path in twos. Oh yeah, that happens to me sometimes too. Oh, Delphi and JS? Oh, cool, man. Delphi, wow, I haven't I haven't heard the name Delphi in a while. Okay, so we gotta walk it in twos for int i equals zero, i is less than path dot actually i plus one is less than path size plus plus no i plus equals two. There we go. Now auto ref P1 is path I, P, let's do P2 on our next line. P2 is path I plus one. Now, if the door from P1, so we need to get the current, we need to get the room room equals this find room based on oh not no see so I think it's get room get room yeah with a pause so we're getting the area we're currently on p1 now looping over the doors in the room if the door dot dest equals p2 and the door type is a secret door type right <laughs> oh yeah right wow I bet with today's computers and stuff though, like, is it just super fast or what? You're making a game, your game with RPG Maker? Cool. It's not a JRPG, all right. Lots of custom code. Cool. Was there something I, uh, I did? I had this function, I think. Door 
secret path. No. Door type equals K door secret path or door dot type equals K door secret uh, oh it's bombable that's what it's called bombable or door dot type K door kill a bombable or door dot type equals k door spirit. Those are the only secret paths we would need to. If all that happens, then return false. And set a breakpoint for sure. But actually, set a breakpoint for right here. So. So what's wrong with that? No matching member function to call the re what? Oh, because I need to cast this to v3i, I think. It's pretty fast, right? <laughs> That's what's funny. You know? Whoa, whoa, okay. Wow, compiles for mobile. Yeah, totally, right? So he still doesn't like that. So we need to go p1 dot first, I think. Okay, let's make sure this algorithm works as intended. It's gonna walk that path looking for secret doors. Ah. <sighs> Well, so there you go. The beginning of this whole bug started with the thought that like, okay, I should write a little bit of code that determines if this situation is happening. And here's that code. Let's hope to see if it works. And then if it works, then hey. Yes, it was. It was written in Game Maker. There's even a video. They talk a bit about it. Um, Yeah, it's got to be on Yo-Yo Games Showcase, totally, right? Um, what's that video? Oh, man. Uh, maybe a, maybe Team? I'm trying to think. It's a, it's a YouTube video I saw. No, no. Team's the wrong word. Um, Hyperlight? I don't know, man. Sorry. There was a cool video about... It was, it was from some LA crew. They did a cool video with like the team of Hyperlight Drifter right before they released. Right as they were releasing it, the game. Shoot, I don't know, man. But there is some video on YouTube from them. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's Heart Machine. <laughs> Good luck finding... <laughs> Good luck finding that. <sighs> oh, well. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're, we're going from 6-4 to 4-4. Four, four. The path to walk is 6-4 to 5-4 to 4-4 four, four directly. Now, we got the first room. We got path. Path is 6-4 to 5-4. This first room should be room... Uh, oh, we haven't gotten it yet. Okay. Room... Oh, it didn't work. Oh, because it didn't do the Z. Okay, so we need the Z pause. This is just, I think there's a variable called Z for the dungeon.
Okay, did we get it that time? Room, are you okay, Room? Yes, there we go. Pause 6410, key level 6. Difficulty 1. Doors. There's three doors. It's going to loop over these doors and look for the desk. Door. What's this door? Desk. 6310. This is not the one. 6510. There we go. Now, we got the desk, but what's the type? The type is door gate. That makes sense. And that's not going to break it. Okay. So we're going to go on to the next room. Oh no, I needs to be plus plus, not plus equals two. Okay, almost broke almost broke that algorithm. Two very important things there fixing that algorithm. Yeah, man, it's all learning, right? And it, you know what you know what I think matters more than anything is having fun making it. Right? Are you enjoying making it? If you're enjoying it, then nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. And that too. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Failure really helps you to learn. It's helped me so many times. If I hadn't failed, I never would have succeeded. P1, P2, room. Good. Yes. Okay, next room. 5, 4, 10. Yeah, 5, 4, 10. Exactly, it is. it is. It literally is the how you see it. Oh yeah, text lines. There you go. You mean writing dot? You mean writing lines of dialogue? I can relate there. I don't feel like I'm a great writer either. If that's what you mean. Oh yeah, quests. Okay. Okay, so then that should be it because the next one would be 5-3. Yeah. Okay, good. The algorithm, I think this works. Let's let this, let's set this beast loose. Let it run through the worlds of Songbringer and try and find us a bug. Set the beast le loose. Loose the beast. Give the beast a new lease on life. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on what's called the overworld generator map thing. This thing is just, I'm gonna turn off the weight as well. So it's just gonna rip through all of the worlds of Song Rare I've got here in this seeds list right here. It's just gonna create world after world after world. And because uh, I'll set a breakpoint here, if this actually happens, we return false right there. We will catch a world that has that bug. Let's hope it happens. Yeah, right? Writing's fun, isn't it? I found that I, I watched a lot of Netflix and paid attention to how plots evolved and stuff like that, and that kind of helped me. Gave me some more confidence. There we go. We found one. Yes. What world is this? Let's go back to world. What world seed is this? Seed butter. Butter, all right. Butter, what's your problem? What's... What's salt zero? Okay. Butter. Zero retries, but it does fail. And then also, what's, is this the very next world? Rupees. They Both of these fail. Okay. Let's go back. Now I can create world butter without this, um, without this algorithm causing it to fail. So let's just um, do nothing there. And set the world seed to butter. We can take a look at this world and figure out 
Did it actually catch this bug? Did it catch it correctly? What's going on here? Oh yeah? Oh, whoops. No more world overworld generator. Man, I hope this worked. This would be really great to have this particular bug fixed. This is probably the hardest bug I'll have to encounter in the whole next, like the whole rest of the project practically. All the hard stuff's done already. So going to the log, look there's the fear dungeon, tower, ship. Now going into the, all right, so we're starting there and we're trying to find the tunnel, which is what, it, no, you can go right to it. Oh, is it because the path was small? Oh. Mm hmm. I might have just accidentally caught well, let's let's see what happens if we turn on yeah let's set a breakpoint there after it's done its pathfinding in this world butter because the path is it's right there it's like the path may it might only be one long source is six four the destination is one two that is wrong uh why is that oh oh it's dungeon what was that please don't go away why is not z Wait, two, one? One, two, one? That's key number one. What? One, oh, one. One, two, oh, it gave me the des. It gave me that, I don't know why. But it, it tried to pathfind to that. Okay, so we found a we found one where we tricked it up. It's basically got the wrong destination. Okay, we need a better way to find the destination. We need to look through all the rooms. Oh, I'm way faster writing code here in Vim. Here we go. Here we go. Much better. Now for auto ref R in rooms. Um, oh, we're gonna need the the source room as well. So auto ref source room equals this get room. source or I mean b3i oh these could be b3i's yeah yeah that's fine get room source
Tricky code, man. Tricky code today. Nah, I didn't like that. Oh, uh. Oh. So, for each room, if the R dot key level equals source room dot key level and has bits r dot flags k flag downstairs if we're on this same key level and we find the downstairs out of this tunnel then dest equals r dot pause and break No before boss or couldn't find tunnel best. If that's the case, I think this if source dot is valid, not source is valid, or not desk that is valid, then we should actually just return true. It's really no point in failing everything if it no, I guess maybe that should return false. Okay, whatever. We'll return false there. Then we path fine. Okay, we've still got a world that looks like this. So basically... Basically, yeah, the dungeon, we're looking for the Y, which is right below that room, so it should find it. Wait a minute, we should see if there's other places that actually match this too in the same. Okay, let's do that. Turn on the that, that breakpoint too. Okay, so that's gonna set the destination to the R pause if it finds it more than one time. I'm curious because like this this dun this tunnel level might actually have two tunnels in it, or this key level might have two tunnels. Okay, well, that's kind of what it looked like from the from the map or whatever. Okay. Uh R pause six two. What six two? That's right. It is the Z. Okay, so that is considered part of it. my god, what is that Y then? And seriously, there's two tunnel destinations here. I guess I need to do a, dis a, des a, a distance and pick the one that's closest. So if there's two tunnels, like there's one there and there's one there and these are both part of the same key level, Let's see if we hit this again. No? Oh, it ignored tunnel level Y? Oh, that's weird. I guess I would feel a little better if I had a, a built-in distance calculation here so this needs to be int closest distance equals something huge
Okay, so we're going the Manhattan distance from source dot x source dot y to r dot pause dot x to r dot pause dot y. And if that distance is less than the closest distance, then the destination equals r dot pause and the closest distance equals dist. There. Now I feel like that algorithm's safe. Let's make sure it works. Okay, once again, we're getting 6210. And we only get one of them, that's fine. Now, we're gonna path find from 6410 down to 6210. We're gonna be going through a secret wall though. We're going to be going through that secret wall right there, spirit. So this should definitely fail. So maybe that's why this failed before. Oh no, it failed before because it was a totally different, totally different position. All right, path size is three. Walk it. It's going to find a, it's going to find this right here and fail. Can we set a breakpoint on a knob? I'm trying to set a breakpoint right there. I don't know if I could do that. You can't break on a knob. It was a secret wall. Okay, so that one should fail. Let's make sure that breakpoint gets hit. And then we'll let this bubby loose on the other dungeons of Songbringer. See if we can find some more bugs. If we can refine this algorithm at all. Dude, this turned out to be more code than I thought it would be. It's a... Uh, oh, it's only 40 lines. 35 lines. 45 lines or something. Did it? Oh, it might have failed. No way, it didn't. It didn't fail at all? No, oh, that should have failed. Why didn't it fail? Oh, am I looking at the right world? Oh, right, did this change at all? Oh, see? It is a different world now. What was I looking at before? Was that rupees before? Okay, so, I don't know what the hell happened, but there is now why, that, that this is the where that, was there any failures in this world? No, succeed with zero retries. Did it fail to load any dungeons? No. Okay, so well, that dun that dungeon just works now. Um, let's turn back on the overworld generator thing or the, the overworld display thing. This time, whoops, we can't run it from the command line. We got to run this from the debugger. From I mean, Xcode. Okay, so we're wait, waiting for that breakpoint right there. Wizard, rupees. Oh, rupees works now. Arcane, donkey, cactus, attack, swords, peanut, quartz, big saw. Oh, don't tell me this, these all work now and I wrote this code for nothing. Well, I guess I didn't write this for nothing. At least I confirmed this is no longer a bug. Oh, 
か。Uh, okay, on all those succeeded. All right, well, I got a log with all of these dungeons in it. Oh, it needs to do a log set. That's right. It needs to do like a fail to generate type thing. World set error. Oh, maybe it's not doing that right. What the? There we go. Dungeon. Da, da, da. Cannot find before boss or tunnel or boss key level tunnel. This one is no path from before boss spa to boss key level tunnel. Source, source test. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I use Vim to, this is really all I'm doing here is just um. It's kind of an IDE, it's kind of an integrated development environment, but it doesn't have debugging. So I use Vim for basically everything because it's a lot faster than Xcode. Um, but then I use Xcode for setting breakpoints and running stuff. So I keep them both open. But Vim in general is hella fast for finding code. I can find like any file so quickly. You know what I mean? Anything in all of my code just opens up instantly. Xcode, if I want to open up a file, it takes forever and it like sometimes never finds the file I'm looking for and stuff like that. Just little things like that make, and then, and then the biggest problem with Xcode is I can't customize any of that stuff. You can't customize things for shit in X, Xcode because it's just a standard text editor. But Vim, my friend, Vim is an entirely different world where you can customize literally everything. You can recompile Vim if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I did accidentally type. It was, it's because my fingers are always on J and K, man. Give me a break. 
ですか<笑> ?Here. じゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃ。Alright, so s e t t e r Dungeon, no path from before boss to boss key level tunnel. Source, test, source, test. Okay, and then this one, last one is gonna be the. the it's a subliminar. Get ready. Illuminati confirmed. Dungeon something. Path from before boss to boss key level tunnel crosses a secret door at Percent D, percent D, which is P2 dot first, P2 dot second. Right? We got one, two, three, four, five things there. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three. Okay, these should all be good. Oh, let's let that run one more time. I don't think it's ever hit. It's never hit this actual thing right here. In all those worlds. So we would need a breakpoint there, or there, or there, and we just run all the overworlds again. Oh, there we go. There's one of them. Okay. Let's look to there is no path. What, um, what world? Quartz. Salt zero. And again. Oh, this is court still. Okay, I gotta check out the world court. Oh, it looks like Sudoku. Oh, raffle. I know, right? This is a long one. This is probably one of the hardest bugs on my whole list right now. Okay, so courts and raffle both have this problem, it looks like. All right, no more. Of that, we just want to load quartz and look at the dungeon. We don't want to return false. Just want to let this go. So check. We'll just go to where it handles this. And do nothing. Let it run that world. See why? Yeah, this that's that's kind of why I'm continuing to do this because this could actually fix something important. Even though, even though, really, the only thing that this is fixing is it's making it a, 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 a guaranteed direct path to solve 
every one of these Songbringer dungeons without having to use a secret. It's really all it is. You can you can definitely solve this dungeon with using secrets. <laughs> it's released earlier. I to be honest, I maybe should have even skipped this bug. It's kind of so obscure. But here we go. Okay, so yeah, look at this look at this weird world. It's got this path going down. It hits ah, this is exactly the situation. Yes, this is almost exactly the same world that I saw when I first saw this bug. See what's going on here? It's throwing in a secret room right in the middle of, this is the tunnel, right? Or this is the key level. These rooms are all the key level, the last key level of this dungeon. It's trying to put a tunnel into that key level and it splits up the whole key level with this secret room here. So the, dun the walker algorithm I just wrote right there goes from here and it goes down to here and it goes to there and it goes, oh, secret path, I can't cross that. Or else it doesn't even have it. You want to debug? Did you know that that is actually in the code right now? So on the Steam version right now, you can enable all those tricks that I use all the time. God mode, debug mode, um, invincibility. All of those can be hooked up into your version. You just need to know what to type into your saves.txt. Do you want to know what to type into your saves that text? Let me know and I'll tell you. In fact, wait, I will for anyone that's watching this on YouTube that wants to say yes, but you can't because you're watching YouTube. If you're like, don't tell them. <laughs> okay, if you don't want to know, close your eyes and your ears. But let me show you what to do if you want this. All you got to do is go into your settings. Your saves.txt file, all right? Saves.txt. This is right in the folder for Songbringer. You need to go under the settings for your platform. If you're on Windows, this will say settings-windows. You go down into your settings and you would add um, keys. No, not that. You want the keys. Set up some keys, basically, for all these debug features. So there's kill self, kill all. Kill all is a great one. It kills every enemy on the screen. Um, there's command god mode, which puts you in god mode. So all you gotta do is add these things to your saves.txt and then set them to whatever key you want them to be. You can bind them to whatever. I just got them bound to key 1, 2, 3, and 4, which is like, you know, the number keys on the keyboard. And then I've got command debug is Y. And then slow, oh, slow and fast are pretty cool. They're kind of fun, but they're, fast is actually really fun for playing the game. You can, faster, <laughs> you can turn on fast mode and like, You've literally got to press the input really, really fast to keep up, but like you can play the game way faster than normal. Or speed up sections where you're like, oh, this is going too slowly. Okay, so it detected this situation. Hell yes. Now, um, let's actually just let it hit that breakpoint. Oh yeah, sorry, to show you again, no problem. Yeah, so here, there are just these, um, you don't need to worry about those. There's only six of them. There's command kill self, command kill all, command god mode, command invincible, command debug, command slow, and command fast. You put those in your saves.txt and you'll be able to press those keys to enable those super sweet features. Right. It doesn't actually, your speed doesn't increase, your, so all of the speed increases relatively. So basically, if you're, you're in fast mode, the whole game is actually playing that fast. So it's not actually making you a faster speedrunner. Your time clock is actually running faster too, right? So going into fast mode doesn't help you for speedruns. Because the clock is running faster. Uh, okay, so did it hit the breakpoint? Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so it found, it tried to do a path, but it couldn't do any path at all. It's like, no, I can't even do that. Why? Oh, because it had to walk that secret path. Huh? 
Yeah, there there already is that biter. So go into um, when you start Songbringer, you're creating a new world. You just keep your seed completely blank and press the enter key and it will give you a random word. First it gives you two random six letter words and then it gives you a totally random word of just random letters and then it goes back to giving you more actual words. For frames, etc. what you mean? Okay. This is good. It actually found one of these problems. Now, let's see what happens. So if I if I turn off all these breakpoints and I let it run, it should fail that dungeon and then create another one in place of it. So there's not even a hiccup. It doesn't even it's not even a problem, really. Yeah, that's why I'm always trying to share stuff about Song Rear, because it's like, there's a lot of hidden things you wouldn't even never know. Like that seed, that's random seed feature. And the trick is like, okay, so how many of those things do I try and make obvious to the player, and how many of those things do I leave as, as wonderful little secrets that surprise you when you find them, right? It's a delicate balance, I think. Okay, now let's take a look at this log. It should have failed to generate Dungeon 10 once, or maybe twice. Yeah, there you go. Dungeon 10, no path from before boss pause 6, 4, 10 to boss key level tunnel 3, 5, 10. So it's trying to go from 6, 5, 10 down to 3, or 6, 6, 4, to three five, which is one two three, one two three four five. Oh no! That what? Oh man, still. Uh, so all right. Uh, it's trying to tunnel to that one this time, probably because that last key level... What the hell is this key level then? Damn it. Oh my god, well actually this is actually, it's working though, like it's, it's... It's working, but it's not working as I expected it to. So, is it actually working? Man. Hmm. Okay, I gotta figure out what's going on with both these situations. Glad I'm glad this particular world seed is ending up with a couple of them. It looks like it's failed twice to generate Dungeon 10 in a row. So that's that's cool. We found two different specific situations where this fails. This one actually makes a lot of sense. Look at this. This is entirely closed off. This whole dungeon level, there's no way into it except for this bombable path right there. But that's a total solid wall, solid wall, solid wall, solid wall. There's only one way in right there and it's secret. So that makes sense. I'm glad I found that. And it's trying to, this one's trying to go to 4-2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So it's trying to go to there. Ah.
Okay, I'm going to use another verbosity level um, for dungeons. So going, this is like calling on all the tricks I got in the book here. Dungeon verbosity, turn that up to like five, I think. And this will create a really verbose output for the dungeons. Um, so we're going to look for when it starts generating dungeon 10 and it'll show all the key levels. So back to the log, look for generating dungeon 10. Here we go. Okay, so there, it starts with the totally blank area, but with some rooms reserved. It starts placing rooms. See how it's like placing one more room, one more room, uh, one more room. Let's get, skip to the end here. And we can look at the key. See, they, there's key level zero, there's key level one. Now it's starting to place key level two. Here it's still key level two. Let's skip on white a ways here. So what's tricky though is the last key level turns into something different. And that's the thing I'm trying to figure out here. What, what is this? I think that, I think it's already placing the last key level. What is this? Key level five and it's placing a secret room. This is where it puts that little blockage. Yeah. This is what turns out to be a block. Oh, this is key level four, eh? Oh, okay, so what is the key level of the before boss room going to be? So now we're up at six. I think this is where it's filling in. Ah, okay. It is. In this particular world, the last key level in this dungeon is six. Oh, wait. Oh, you can have multiple key levels connect. That's what's happening here. Okay. So on one on one hand, oh wait, you wouldn't be able to tunnel into six anyway. Oh wow, yeah. So you, what what is the the before boss's room's key level then? It's just no, it doesn't show it. Oh, it's, it shows it right here, though. Choosing parent for room 35 or 36, key level 9. Huh. Wow, I got to see this and debugging it. I think I think this is working, but it's just this one these couple little issues that are kind of confusing it, confusing me, I mean. Okay, wait, so the source room, oh, it's key level five, okay. But it's, see, it's also touching key level six.
Okay, so to make this algorithm slightly better, what it needs to do is take a look at the key level for this room, add it to a list. Take a look at the key level for that room and that room and any and if there was a room to, around it, you know, look at all the key levels around it, it, it. Add those all to the key level to a list of key levels that it's going to accept. And then, okay, so let's do it that way. All right, so we need a vector of ints, which is key levels that we can allow. Now, for each door in the source room, if um, the door destination is not the last room, if hasn't bits oh we would need to get the room yeah i guess we could just go we need to have rooms for this <laughs> if rooms dot empty I mean, if not rooms that empty. Okay, so for all doors in the source room dot doors, if door dot dest equals rooms dot back dot pause, or I mean, if it's not equal to pause, and not contains key levels, this um, room, this new room, so um, this, oh, we would need a, a current key level. Uh, or the current room. Uh, so auto ref r equals this get room door dot dest. Now, if hasn't bits r dot flags k flag boss and not contains key levels r dot key level then key levels dot pushback R dot key level. There, okay, so we need to keep this. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter the order there. Let's keep it like that. But then, all right, so this needs to be instead of if R dot key level equals source room dot key level, it's if. Okay, so the first thing we want to check for is has bits. So the check is faster. And then we check the array. So if contains key levels R dot key level. There. So if this is one of the key levels we're tracking. Okay. And then still it's going to do the closest distance. Okay, let's see how that works out for this particular world. Quartz. We should have five and six. Source rooms, key level five. Key levels is only one. It's only five. Oh, wait a minute. That might actually make sense. Right? Because if this is five and there's only one door, 
Here, let's let this run. Oh, yeah, okay, it makes sense. So there it is. It tries to look for all the rooms around it and it says, oh, look, key level five is what I'm looking for. And so it goes and tries to go down there and it... There's also some other areas though that have key level five, which is kind of wonky. Four two ten is what it's looking for here, which is that one I think. Yeah, four two right. Okay, you know what? I think this algorithm is working good enough for now. Well, I should definitely let it run at least one more time. Um, with the overworld. Ooh, man, this this bug turned used a lot of my mental energy. I kind of need to like rest. I need to rest for a while after this. Actually, yeah, I need to get going pretty soon. So this is gonna be about the last time I run this. This is I got faith in this algorithm though. Chords. Oh wait, I wanted I wanted to actually set breakpoints at all these returns. And just let me see all the code at each each point. If any of these fail. There was a fun bug, yeah, right? This is a definitely a deep bug, man. This is tricky. It's it shows it shows you a lot of what's going on behind the scenes too with like uh, Song Songbringer's dungeon generator. And this isn't even the start of it. I mean, there's the whole overworld generator, which is an entirely different generator algorithm. Okay, so what are we at? This is world quartz, probably. Yep, okay, quartz failed. Quartz fails again. Let's look for some other worlds. It's like one of the final bosses. Ha, <laughs> good point. There we go, here's another one. Raffle, oh that's right, raffle. Okay, looking at the, what's happening here? The path is empty. We are, okay. Oh, it'll actually print out a, a, to the log statement. The failure. But we're going. We're trying to go from six, four, all the way down to six zero. So straight down in a line. Does it has it? Um, does it has it? Well, 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 well. That, okay, that one succeed. Yeah, it doesn't have the log statement yet of the, the. I can't see the world yet. Dang. Um, but I guess I just have to let this one go and take a look at it afterwards. So World Raffle had a problem, but it was trying to go straight down the right edge of the the dungeon. Let's see if we got any other ones. Oh, this is Raffle again. Nope, online also. Raffle and online. This one's trying to go to 4-4, four, four, which is only two rooms away. Got another one, crumbs. It's always failing here. It just doesn't even be able to create a path. Six four ten to two four ten. Key level is five.
Freeze. That's a good name for a world. That's not going to create any problems. Please. Okay, there's a lot of them. I'm going to turn off breakpoints. There's at least five or six. That's Zombie Zilton relics. Yeah, there's, there's quartz. Okay, we're done. All right, now to take a stroll through this fail the failures. Those two we've already seen. No, well that's the that's no possible parent rooms. There's no path. Okay, so this one. Oh yeah, totally. This is totally totally blocked in. There's no way for it to get to anything else. The water monsters, right? You don't like those? Because they have a lot of hit points, right? Oh, I'm out of water. Okay, I gotta get going pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this is obvious. It's trying to, but so this time it's trying to go from 6410 to 60. It's trying to go straight down. This is how it would have. That's what it's trying to do. This is key level five or whatever. Okay, uh, I. I can't can't argue with that. So six four ten here. Oh, this is an interesting one. The six four to four four. I'm like, why did it not? Oh, it's trying to go right to there. And look, it is blocked by a secret path. That algorithm worked perfectly right there. Except that, well, oh, that's a tunnel. Oh. I guess this is actually failing. It's It failed this dungeon and generated another one instead. Um, it failed this dungeon even though it, it didn't really need to. So there's, there's uh, uh, some issues where this algorithm doesn't quite work because it's trying to go find the tunnel destination at this This four four. Uh, this one's interesting. I kind of want to take a look at it, but I've used up so much of my mental energy already for this. Let's get a text made open of that. All right. This one's curious. Like it should have. Oh. It added this key level right here, but it didn't. It shouldn't have because this is a secret path. Ah. Uh, okay, and what world was that? Jeez, I don't need this much debug info. Um, online, right. Oh no, it was raffle. Looks like it was raffle, okay. It's either online or raffle. Um... Let's do fry raffle and turn the breakpoints back on. And the one we're looking for is where it goes to four four ten. Maybe it was online. No. Oh, I just, oh, I ran it from, gotta run it from here. 
man, I probably could have fixed like five other smaller, easier, easy bugs in the time that this one took. But that's all right. Doesn't matter. Yeah, key levels three and six. That's why it's going from four, four, ten. Yeah. So it, it, yeah. So when when we look for key levels, the door can't be secret. So we need a, a list of door types that were not allowed. Vector door type um, door type disallow doors. Alright, so those doors we don't want. Now, and contains disallow doors door dot type. So there we can check for all those in one statement and then use it again up here because we don't, we don't want to do those for this. So if not contains disallow doors from the original door dot type. All right. Yeah, I know, I know, but it is technically a bug that some people would be like, oh my gosh, I can't get through this dungeon. Or maybe or maybe the player somehow gets to that point and they don't have meditation and they don't have cactuses, you know, and that door is required to be crossed with the meditation or a cactus or, or kill a bombs for even, even worse because that's where, well, I won't say anymore because that would ruin it for you. Um, so let's turn back on all the breakpoints. Yeah, some cases this actually would be a bug, you know what I mean? It's really tempting for me to be like, oh, I could just sweep this one under the rug and say, yeah, yeah it pretty much works most of the time. But there's that one time out of a hundred or whatever where a player has a super bad experience and they're like, man, I couldn't get through this dungeon. It was frustrating the shit out of me. I was pulling my hair out. I wrote you a, I wrote you a hate letter. You know what I mean? <laughs> that stuff actually happens. So why, you know, if I can do, if I can spend an hour or two hours right here and make sure that never happens, I might as well. I know it's a lot of code and this is actually a pretty complicated check right here now that this is all written at first i was like look it's only 40 lines now it's like it's like four score lines all right where are we getting um a breakpoint all right it's yeah same same breakpoint it always hits it here I'm trying to go from six four to three five in world quartz again all oh, right yeah quartz yep quartz is the we've already checked this one many times this one's already got its key levels of five, so that one didn't really. This one's six four ten to two four two ten in world courts again. It is. It's a big thing. Yeah. It's not cool, you know. If I can do anything that will cause players to have a better time, I will do it. If I can. And in this case, I can.
Okay, there's that one that's going down to six zero. This time it only has one key level still. Good. So it probably shouldn't. Yeah, I got past raffle that time. So raffle is now okay. What's this one? Um, crumbs. Six four ten two four ten. Only one key level. We'll have to look at these log statements after these are all said and done. So once again, it's six four ten two four ten. It like it keeps getting stuck going that way. One key level. There's less of them now. That's good. It seems like this algorithm is working just that much better. Freeze once again. Okay, freeze. We're getting 6, 4, 10 down to 2, 3, 10. One key level. 4. Interesting. Batman. Oh, this one's please. 6, 4, 10 to 2, 5. One key level. Zombie, Zilton, Relics, Purple, please. No, online, Canada. All right, we're done. That's all those worlds. Okay, now I can take a look at these log statements. Uh, looking for the failed. No possible parent rooms. That's an old bug which is basically not solvable. Not, I mean, it, basically the solution is to just throw away that dungeon and generate a new one. No possible parent rooms, no possible... Okay, here we go. Dungeon 10, no path from 6, 4, 10 to 3, 5, 10. We've already seen this before, I'm sure. Yeah, this is that one. Okay. And again, same world. Yep, t creates a totally closed off last key level there. Oh, whoops. Oh yeah, we already saw that one. That's no okay. Here we go. This one's two four ten. Why is the two phone trying to go all the way to two four? Oh, look at how this one winds. It's trying to go to one two, one two three four. It's trying to go to there, which I don't know what it would, what else it would try to go to, because look, there's really nothing. Nothing around here is a tunnel. And it gets caught, it gets closed off right there, basically. To, with the killabombable wall by... This is exactly the situation I was afraid of, right here. Oh, I guess the player would technically be able to walk through a secret wall right there. So this is still, this is still could be done. And the, and the player wouldn't even need any items, but... The, the situation could have been that that was a killabombable wall or whatever. So this is good that this is happening. This algorithm seems to be working quite well, actually. Um, what's this next one? Six, four, oh, this is the same one. No possible parent rooms. No possible doors. Parent rooms. There's another one. Two, three, ten. So it's, well, let's look at this. Yeah, same kind of thing with this one. See, it, it jaunts down to here. There's absolutely no walls going into in any of these three rooms. Even this one. That one's not even... Yeah. The only way into all... This... Here you go. This proves it. There. This just justified this entire... This entire last hour and a half of writing that algorithm justified in that one case right here. Look at that. The only way into the last key level. This is there's no way to solve this. As a player, there's no way to solve this except by already having killer bombs, which is possible, but not likely. So there you go. Glad I wrote this. It just threw away that dungeon because it's like, yo, the player can't do this, man. And this one too, also a killabombable wall right there. 
Six, four, ten down. Wait, what was the last one trying to get to? It was trying to get to two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, okay. That's the closest tunnel it could find. Kind of makes sense, actually. The next one is trying to find two, five, ten. Wow. Of course, it's not going to find that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm starting to understand why. Why this is happening this way? Because when a when a when a secret room goes and blocks off a tunnel, there's no way for it to go and find any tunnel destination anyway. So it goes and it searches and it finds elsewhere in the dungeon and realizes, oh, I couldn't get there. So that's why it just works. Do the dungeons always have a fixed amount of rooms? Yes, they do. They always have a fixed amount of rooms. And this particular dungeon always has a certain shape because it is the ship. You know? Some dungeons have a particular shape. There's only a couple actually have a particular shape. But a lot of dungeons are actually randomly shaped. But they do have a certain number of rooms depending on which order of dungeon they are. So, right? so like dungeon 10 is going to have more rooms. Dungeon 1 is going to have less rooms. No possible parent. No possible parent. No, oh, there we go. We're done. All right, cool. This algorithm works. Um, let's just like I'm gonna do a little check over, right? I'm gonna look at my code I just wrote and be like, is this good? I'm like, can I check this in the way it is? Oh, we didn't actually end up needing that, but it's good that I added that too. That's actually a bug fix right there. That would have been a bug if the fire dungeon had more than one tunnel. More than zero tunnels, I mean. And we're good. All right, so just to settle my mind a little bit, I wanna go do one last thing with this, and that's to go explore a dungeon of Songbringer that I already know. I remember Pineal's Songbringer dungeon. I'm going to go back to that and make sure it's still the same shape I love and remember. Oops. But not the overworld thing. Uh, oh no, did I refresh it again? Uh, what happened? Ah! Uh. Oh yeah? Well, it, it takes time, I'll tell you that. I mean, it's taken me a long time to generate all these algorithms. I mean, this is three years into making this project. I've spent months working on the... the the dungeon generator and the overworld generator and all that stuff. I think there should be a kill bomb of a wall right there. No? Yeah, yeah, there it is. And there should be uh, nothing there. Good. There's no secret path there. And there's probably another kill bomb of a wall there, I think. Yep, okay. And there's like a path around here. Yep, there's a tunnel. There's a corridor there. This should be no secret. And then, oh, this is a secret wall here. Is it? No? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Totally. Oh, that's just a bomb then, maybe, or something. Oh, maybe it's meditate. I can just run through the wall, what am I doing? Oh, there was a spirit wall. Okay. Spirit wall there, and then this one I think is supposed to be a bomb, or- Oh, no, it's just a secret path. Okay, yes, this is exactly the dungeon I remember. Okay. 
So I just did that just to verify, like, okay, I didn't break the... I didn't just break the entire dungeon generator, did I? I didn't, so very good. I could go ahead and check this code in, and I'm done with that hard-ass bug. <laughs> Stupid hard-ass bug. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Um, yeah. I appreciate everybody for, for everything, man. I appreciate all your support and, and for watching and stuff. And for being my, my good old acquaintance and pal and friend and stuff. So, yeah, you guys too. Have a great night. Appreciate y'all. And we'll see y'all next time. Laters. Whoa, long stream.